Hi traders, a false consecutive upside week. The S&P 500 gained 0.6% last week, up by 6.4% for the year. Are there any fundamental justifications for new highs? Absolutely not. The quarterly earning report shows company profits are declining. World economy is fragile and terror is on the rise. Sometimes the ties between Wall Street and Main Street break loose. When investors are forced to leave zero income bonds and buy stocks, stock price goes up. Now, of course, this is a problem that should worry investors. However, for us traders, when a rally eventually ends up in a crash, it is an advantage. So for now, we should continue following the trend. Let's take a look at, uh, let's take a technical look at the market. As we can see, the S&P 500 is holding to the highs. Again, this is very common at this time when more and more money is coming in. So don't really expect a quick pullback. So we're holding to the highs and most likely will continue higher. Let's take a look at last week's picks. We finally had the Yao breaking out. We waited for that for two weeks and finally Yao arrived to our first target which is 3% profit and at this point we sell three quarters and hold the last quarter to the entry price. Our two other uh, trades ADM did trigger didn't do much and the last one Caterpillar also triggered and didn't do much. So the both of them are still hanging on. I hope for some continuation this week. Let's take a look at this week's picks. My first pick for the week is Microsoft over 56 and 84 cents. It looks great. This is by the way, the weekly of Microsoft. And as you can see, a lot of money is pouring in, especially to big companies like Microsoft. So I expect some continuation. Second pick for the week is Dollar Tree DLTR for long over 96.27. And again, Dollar Tree moved up recently, holding to the highs and should continue with the market. We, uh, this is a retail company in the US with 14,000 uh, discount stores. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week.